meeting, nandun yung ating act number 4103. So, ano nga ba yung napapaloob dito? So, most of the content is na discuss na natin last time. Pero dito is nandito na lahat. So, uh, para maintindihan natin ng maigi. As amended by Act Number 4225 and Republic Act Number 4203 on June 19, 1965. So, matagal na itong batas. An act to provide for an indeterminate sentence and parole for all persons convicted of certain crimes by the courts of the Philippine Islands to create a board of indeterminate sentence and to provide funds therefore and for other purposes. Okay. We, also, we have Section 1. Hereafter, in imposing a prison sentence for an offense punished by the revised penal code or its amendments, the court shall sentence the accused to an indeterminate sentence, the maximum term of which shall be that which, in view of the attending circumstances, could be properly imposed under the rules of the said code, and the minimum which shall be within the range of the penalty next lower to the prescribed by the code for the offense, And if the offense is punishable by any other law, the court shall sentence the accused to an indeterminate sentence, the maximum term of which shall not exceed the maximum fixed by said law, and the minimum shall not be less than the minimum term prescribed by the same. So if ever ang tao, si Mr. Juan, is napatunay na kasala sa batas, so meron tayong bibigay na indeterminate sentence kung saan nakalagay dyan, kung hanggang kailan siya mamamalagi. So ang nandyan is uh, 20 years. Ibig sabihin, 20 years siyang makukulong. Hindi siya binigyan ng death penalty, for example, or uh, life imprisonment. So, although meron tayong mga uh, uh, exemption, so dito dapat nakalagay yung uh, indeterminate. Nandiyan yung hindi siya determined. E ang ibig sabihin determinate, hanggang kamatayan mo, nandiyan ka sa kulungan. Pero dito is meron tayong uh, minimum, halimbawa 12 years, makukulong ikaw ikaw Mr. Juan ay makukulong sa salang pagpatay at pinapataw, pinapatawan ng uh, parusang pagkabilanggo mula 12 years hanggang 20 uh, on Monday to 20 years so ito ay reclusion uh, perpetua uh, so makikita natin yan so dapat alam na alam alam natin yan para uh, uh, dapat nakaindikit yan sa kanyang uh, final judgment para uh, uh, makaawil siya ng parole. Section 2. This act shall not apply to persons convicted of offenses punished with death penalty of life imprisonment. Yung sinabi ko kanina. So, hindi ito mag-apply dun sa mga taong, uh, dun sa mga prisoner na, na convicted sa uh, death penalty or life imprisonment. Pero ngayon, wala naman tayong death penalty, so life imprisonment lang. To those convicted of treason, so ang nakalagay dyan, yung treason, uh, pinag- Uh, uh, tawag dito If, um, uh, traitor for example uh, uh, limbawa nag, nagkanda ka ng treason <clears throat> against the government conspiracy or proposal to commit treason pinagkanulo mo ang iyong bansa mula sa ibang ibang bansa <clears throat> to those convicted of misprision of treason nag rebellion rebellion Sedition or expionage to those convicted of piracy. Piracy it is conducted out in the sa mga dagat natin, karagatan natin. Pirate nag nagkandak ng piracy to those who are habit habitual delinquents. Yung paulit-ulit niya ginagawa yung krimen, so they are not qualified. To those who have escaped from confinement or evaded sentence, or yung tomakas mula sa kulungan, so they are excluded. To those who having been granted conditional pardon by the chief executive, kung nabigyan siya ng conditional pardon, so they are not allowed to apply for parole. To those whose maximum term of imprisonment does not exceed one year, so kapag hindi sumobra ng one year, so hindi ka pa pwede mag-apply ng parole. Not to those already sentenced by final judgment at the time of approval of this act except as provided in section 5 hereof. So, mayroon tayong section 5 mamaya sa baba. So, uh, hindi rin uh, kasali yung mga nabigay na ng sentence, sentence ng final judgment at the time of approval of this act. Nung hindi pa, uh, hindi pa, wala pa tayong, hindi pa batas itong uh, 4103. Section 3, we have 
There is hereby created a board of pardons and parole. Ito sinasabi natin parate na uh, dati sinabi na natin na mer composition na is isang isang uh, bo, uh, chairman which is the secretary of justice tapos uh, apat na of uh, members appointed by the president na i-appoint sila ng commission na appointment na ang kanilang term of office is 6 years. O ang ilagay niyo diyan is composition isang uh, chairman siya ang secretary of justice. Uh, apat na members appointed by the uh, appointed ng presidente na uh, with the consent of the uh, uh, commission on appointment. Tapos ang kanilang terms of uh, terms of service, uh, terms of service is 6 years. Provided meron meron tayong ditong uh, dapat nilang ma uh, maatin. Provided that one member of the board shall be a trained sociologist. Sociologist pinag-aaralan niya yung behavior ano uh, uh, yung uh, uh, well-being sociologist uh, sociology yung kung paano makikipag-interact makikipaghalubilo yung tao so pag-aralan niya yung well-being ng tao one a clergyman or educator for example isang teacher o kaya isang uh, isang criminologist uh, basta educator one psychiatrist uh, isang psychiatrist uh, Ang isa ay isang social work, qualified training experience. Ang isa is pwedeng social work or meron siyang training training sa trabaho na uh, kasali sa Board of Parole and Provision. Board of Pardon and Parole. At least one member of the board shall be a woman. So isa, kahit kailangan isa sa kanila is isang uh, ay babae. It's either siya ang uh, Secretary of Justice o kaya isa siya ay kasali doon sa apat na four members. Of the members of the pres present board, two shall be designated by the president to continue until December 30. Ito, sa board exam, lum lumabas ito sa 2014. So, ang dalawa dyan is i-appoint, i-designate ng president hanggang December 30. So, mayroong dalawa dyan na 1966 and, and uh, and the other two shall con continue until December 30, 1969. So, ito yung kung paano ginawa yung batas. In case of any vacancy in the membership of the board, a successor may be appointed to serve only for the unexpired portion of the term of the prospective members. For example, ang isa sa member na yan is namatay o ang isa sa member na yan ay may kaso, pending. So, uh, Yung makakapalit sa kanya, yung successor niya is uh, may lalagay dyan sa uh, designation na yan uh, limited kung kailan matatapos ang term of service ng kanyang pinalitan. For example, 3, three months lang. So, 3 months lang dyan siya mamamalagi. Section 4, we have the Board of Pardons and Parole is authorized to adopt such rules and regulations as may be necessary for carrying out its functions and duties. So, the board is empowered to call upon any bureau. Okay? Meron silang dapat nakikipag-coordinate sila. Office, branch, subdivision, agency, or instrumentality of the government for such assistance as it may be needed in connection with the performance of its function. Bakit? Alimbawa, sa mga kulungan, sa mga jail, o kaya sa PNP, sa B, uh, NBI, any other institution na po pwede makatulong sa kanila para ma-implement yung kanilang uh, work. A majority of all the members shall constitute a quorum and a majority vote shall be necessary to arrive at a decision. Of course, kailangan mayroong pag-uusapan, mayroon siya masasabi na hindi lamang siya masasabi na uh, wala na uh, abstain, for example. So, kinakailangan siya magbumoto dun sa kalahat ng decision. Any dissent from the majority opinion shall be reduced to writing and filed with the records of the proceedings. So, if ever mayroon mga problema, o kaya mayroon siyang uh, uh, hindi, siya, hindi siya willing o hindi siya boto, so, writing and filed with the records of the proceedings. Each member of the board, including the chairman and the executive officer, shall be entitled to receive as compensation. So, mayroon siya, dati, iwan ko ngayon kung ilan ang sahod nila, so, mayroon siyang compensation of 50, 
50 pesos for each meeting actually attended by him. So since matagal naman itong kaso, uh, matagal naman itong batas na to, uh, so uh, uh, umakit na rin yung sahod nila ngayon. So kanina di ba sabi natin kanina, mayroon silang regular meeting, uh, mayroon siyang meeting. So that the board meeting will not be more than three times a week. So hindi po pwedeng sumubra uh, uh, hindi mo sumubra ng tatlong beses sa is, uh, isang linggo. Section 5 It shall be the duty of the board of, and determinant sentence to look into the physical, mental, and moral record of the prisoner. So, ito, tin, nabasa na natin ito sa taas. So, uh, i-lockdown na lang natin yan. So, basahin nyo na lamang yung 4103 para maintindihan nyo ng maigi. Although, na-discuss na natin ito nung first meeting, first meeting sa midterm, sa online. So, uh, dyan muna tayo magtatapos. So, sa susunod is, pag-aaralan natin lahat ng ito. So, uh, magpo-proceed na naman tayo next meeting sa chapter 7, which is the Parole and Provision Administration. So, papa pag-aaralan natin yan hanggang doon pumasok tayo sa provision. So, maraming salamat.